Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on figuring out if a quadratic can be factored. So when we factor something, we're looking for a pair of number. When you multiply, you should get minus 40, 48. And when you add them together, you should get a positive 4. Now, it's sometimes on a test especially, such number does not exist. So the question thus becomes, how do you know when you have a pair number does this or don't you? So one quick way over the years I've taught my students is check out the determinant. Okay, that's the b squared minus 4ac. Now if you remember, x can always be found in minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, if you can actually find those two numbers, it's always guaranteed that this one has to be a perfect square. So one thing you can do is figure out, so if you have such numbers before you go on there, finding those two numbers. So let's check, say, if b squared minus 4ac, if it's a perfect square or not. The thinking behind it is, if I can fi find the number, the two numbers using factoring, and then this one using the quadratic formula, I should be able to have a perfect square. Otherwise, there's no way I can find the two numbers would satisfy this equation. Okay, so let's try it. b squared, which is 16, it's 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 48, minus 48. So you have 16 plus 4 times 48. Okay, so from here, I already see that there's no way I can have two numbers because it's not a perfect square over here. Uh, if you want to try this one, you can have square roots of 16 times 48. Okay, so I'm just going to do one more step over here to show you why it's not a perfect square times, um, let's see, plus 48. Okay, so this one is a perfect square. You can take it into two, but the one inside is 52. It's not a perfect square. Okay, so from there, I know there's no two pair numbers that satisfy the requirement for factoring. So it can't be factored. So you have to use quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. OK? So this is how we determine if a quadratic can be factored or not. Hope it's clear. Please be sure to comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We're here to make math fun and easy for you. Until next time, have a confident day.